Hi everybody, this is Daniel from ProgressBarAnalytics.com. I'm here to show you a new visualization in Power BI called Custom Calendar. I had the need for this Custom Calendar in Power BI because I was looking at my data recently in Garmin Connect and I realized that I can't see all the stuff that I'm tracking on my uh, data devices, my personal data devices. So what we have over here on Garmin Connect is that uh, everything about my activities is being shown, but what's being shown on the phone is completely different. On the phone, you'll have color indicators for number of uh, for if there's data about the steps I took that day, uh, my activities, my quality of sleep, and my heart rate data. But as, uh, but as you can see, this just gives me uh, that binary true or false whether or not there is or is no data available. This gives me information about my activities, but it doesn't let me uh, switch out my biometrics that I want to have in there. So over here in Power BI, I'm going to get some. Uh, I'm going to get some data first, and the data I'm going to be using is my fitness data from my Garmin Connect. And this data is pretty neat. There's a lot of the, uh, detail that goes into it. Whoops. And I could certainly clean this up, but I'll take care of that at a later time. The custom calendar icon is this one over here. I got this one from the marketplace. By looking up custom calendar. And this is the one. So when I open up this custom calendar, and I'm going to go ahead and maximize what I can see over here. I, it's pretty simple in, interface. I'm going to add in my date and then the metrics I'm going to add are I wanted to look at my quality of sleep. So I wanted to add my minutes of light sleep and my minutes of deep sleep. And what I need to do right off the bat is I need to adjust on the calendar. You see it's starting over here in February and it assumes that's uh, what I wanted to start off with. But I go to the paintbrush options and then I'm looking at the calendar options over here. I can start from January. Oops. I can start from January. and I can decrease the number of months that I want to see. It's just two. And I can also increase the size of this calendar. Unfortunately, this is the, this is the biggest that I can make it right now. And what else I can do over here, because you can see my light sleep and my deep sleep is in a, the same color, which does not help. So for my light sleep, I'm going to choose a nice light color. Maybe a little bit less light. And for the dark deep sleep, I'll leave it a the same dark blue. <coughs> Now what you can see from the calendar view is that I have 
a lot of light sleep followed by some days of very very deep sleep and it looks like the quality of my sleep sometimes is extraordinarily bad which would sort somewhat explain my uh, mentality recently trying to get my head up and really needs to work hard to get my head into gear and this is all after making significant changes to improve the quality of my sleep so as as a proportion you can see light sleep versus deep sleep and you might think that it would help to add in the total sleep uh, you know for a uh, for a comparison but really the more things that we add over here the more difficult it is to be able to uh, compare metrics I found that just about two seems to be the right amount of metrics for example if I wanted to take out my sleep and I wanted to look at my heart rate zone data so let's see my minutes at each heart rate zone my minutes in zone one my minutes in zone two minutes in zone three four and five so what this data is meant to be looking at is the ooh, ooh. okay well, I'll ignore that for now so if I have four colors and I wanted to make my zones look like the way that they should so zone two will be the green zone. I oh, know zone zone two will be the blue zone. Zone three is the green zone. Zone four is yellow. Zone five is red. Then you'll be able to see where my exercise minutes are spent. And for the most part, I spend most of my time in this zone four, and I'm trying to spend less time in zone five. And actually, this is pretty cool in terms of uh, what you can see from the calendar view, uh, in terms of what kind of months that I'm having. But it does get a little bit busy. So it's, uh, it's a little bit color heavy over here and we want that to be less of an issue. So instead of looking at multiple metrics, I'm just going to be looking at the sleep quality. Light sleep and deep sleep. My only complaints for this are that I wish that this part could be could be made bigger. Especially if I only wanted to look at let's say one month. And this doesn't even take up the whole screen. So, there you go guys. Uh that's the video for today and I'll show you another calendar next time.